How you doing everybody? Welcome to week three of the Art of Shooting. This week I'll be teaching you the proper way how to shoot from the corner. A lot of athletes have been telling me in my comments, hey, I can't shoot from the corner, uh, my footwork is wrong, my arc is wrong. Take a look at this video. Step one, when going into the corner, you always have to be low. If you notice the elite shooters, the Damian Lillards, the Kevin Durants, the Klay Thompsons, the Steph Currys, when they're going to the corner, their body's always bent down because when you're bent down going to the corner, you're always ready to shoot. When you get to the elite level, if you run to the corner and you're standing upright and then you have to bend the shoot, the six foot tens, the seven footers are gonna block your shot. So make sure when you're going to the corner, you're, all, you're already bent down, ready to shoot. Step two, make sure when you're shooting from the corner and you shoot with arc, a huge key is to always hold your follow through. If you notice in my video, sometimes I might not hold the follow through, sometimes I might hold it, but I've been shooting this way since, since a kid. The learners, make sure you over-exaggerate your follow through every single time. A great example that I always use from the corner is Klay Thompson. Even as he's running away from the shot, he's over-exaggerating his follow through from the corner. Step three, when shooting from the corner, never ever second guess yourself. Uh, playing AAU, sometimes I used to shoot from the corner, I'd be like, oh man, I'm shooting from the corner. Now, if you shoot the corner as if it's a regular jump shot, it's all mental. So make sure when you catch the ball from the corner, you just let it fly. Stay locked in on your jump shot. Two important keys that you don't want to do when running to the corner is to not know where the ball is. Notice how my back is to the basketball and then I have to relocate where the pass is coming from. Elite shooters can do this, but beginners always locate the basketball. A second key, never run to the corner and have your heels flat on the ground. It'd be impossible to get off your shot before the defender is out there trying to block it. This is not the proper way to go to the corner. A lot of kids, a lot of ballers, what they do, they go to the corner and their heels touch the ground. Make sure when you go into the corner, you're always on your toes. This is the wrong way. You never want to be flat. If you notice, my back was to the ball. You never want to have your back to the basketball. You always want to be looking at the basketball. If you have your back to the ball, it's okay. You need to look back instantly. This is the right way. Look at the ball, look at the ball, catch, shot. Notice how I'm on my toes, never on my heels. Shooters are never on their heels. Put that one in your book. Make sure when you're in the corner and you want to catch and shoot, never be upright and always on your toes. If you're on your heels, what it does, it takes power away from your shot. When you shoot from the corner, you want to make sure to always put a lot of arc on your shot. So notice when my coach passes, passes me the ball, I'm bent down, I'm on my toes, and as the ball comes, I do a gather hop. Thank you guys for tuning in to week three of The Art of Shooting. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you want to learn next. A lot of people have been asking me to teach them behind the back pull-ups, through the legs pull-ups. Just let me know in the comment box. Here's my dribbling coach that you guys have been keeping up with. Make sure you follow his page. Here he is right here. What's going on, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in to week three of the Art of Shooting. Uh, we have a lot of work going on for you guys. We want to thank you guys for subscribing to the YouTube page. Uh, me and Lethal have been working on a lot of things for you guys. Keep the comments coming. We'll answer everything we can. And we hope you guys love what we're doing right now. And let everybody know your Instagram. My Instagram is JFB Athletics. I am Coach Jarrell. You can go on JFB Athletics on YouTube, Instagram, and also Twitter. He's a great dribbling coach. If you guys are looking for dribbling drills, if you're looking to take your game to the next level, this is your guy.